Nice cows. Pity they're crybabies. Mm -hmm. Oh, are you, are you, are you the guy? Oh, sorry, girl. <laughs> I couldn't tell, I couldn't tell in that outfit. Um, yeah, you got, so. you got the diamonds? Uh, yeah, you got the stuff. Good quality. I should up, sir. For the amount you're charging. Okay, okay, yeah, and 20. Okay, yep, oh, yep, good, you're yep. in. It's all there, yep. Okay, okay, okay. Nice right. doing business yeah. with you. You too, we were never here. No, I'll leave first, leave it a few minutes. Okay, no problem. Hello, possums. Drama here in Alphacraft, in a very festive Alphacraft. Look, we've got wreaths and everything. Ah. <laughs> uh, it is the 7th of December, so it is the festive season, regardless of what that festivity is. But JJ and Wild have been going all out, hello, to make Spawn a bit Christmassy. So this is the Kris Kringle machine. This is how we get allocated our secret Santa. So I'm about to do that. I'm not going to show you who it is. I just press this button and I think I collect something. Yep, okay. I haven't looked at that. I'm going to look at that off screen and we'll sort out what I'm going to get. Oh, it's so cute. Look, all the little heads. Okay. Back to base. Oh, they've even made the portal festive. That's nice. Thanks, guys. I believe there's an, oh, that's clever. I believe there's an advent calendar thing for us to do as well, but I haven't found that yet. If I find it, I'll let you know. And I'm back and I've looked at who my secret Santa is for. I'm not telling you, <laughs> but I have to think of something quirky to do. And while I'm here, because I always forget, I've been meaning to do this for ages. You'll see how long. This is the luggage room. I mean to come in here and check regularly, and I have, and I've forgotten to show you guys what was in here. First off, I don't know who this is from. Thank you for the Wither Skelly Farm. And a super efficient magic diamond shovel. Thank you so much, whoever that was. I really love that. And a Halloween box from Aletha, I think. This is what I want to show you though, Book of Spells. <laughs> this is so cute. Spells. Any T-H-E-R. -E vestibule. And it's spelled correctly. I love the word vestibule. Puffer fish throw in lava. <laughs> Fred and George's spell for changing scab is yellow. Didn't work. Wasn't real. And a spell for friendship. One person, second person, get in boat, have fun together. Kindness. Sugar. Realise you're sweet enough. Be kind to those around you and watch for smiles. That is beautiful. Let's put it back at the beginning. I love that. And then we've got a box full of things. Dragon eyed giant's pinky toe bone. Blood of tiger. Fish and chips. Mummy dust. Goblin fingers. Ew. Pixie dust. Cat's eye. Toadstool. Lizard tail. Blah. Premium water. Magic wand, ghost tear, dragon egg, phoenix feather, nice. Eye of Nish, I can hear an enderman. Cursed apple, brewing stand, always useful. Frog slime, unicorn hair, skin of rat, bat wing, a witch's wart, ew, and dragon scales. <laughs> that is beautiful. Where is that rat? I don't know, but these have prompted me to get a move on with today's build. I was going to put this off for a bit and do something else, but I have so many lovely things that I've collected or been given on this server and they need a home. So today we're going to work on a home. What are you selling? Here, beetroot seeds. Bet you got them off me. Yeah. And a bucket of puffer fish. Why would I want those? <sighs> Scoundrels, a lot of them. Enough. Okay, I have cleared a spot here and done the guttering. Well, most of the guttering, I'll fix this. 
we are going to build a museum here so that I can display all the lovely things that I've been given or have won or have collected and we can have them all on display here and out of my chests over there and I can see them properly. So I'm going to get my stuff together, we're going to hop into replay mode and we're going to get building. Well, there it is but before we go in and have a look we're gonna head over here because I've actually finished the brick factory and I want to show you the interior of that before we look at the interior of that I'll meet you over there all right so here we are here's the brick factory I've fixed up some of the ground in front of it not all of it we've still got a bit too much green but we've got the window up there finished and that's the yard, we'll have a look at that in a minute. But now all our lovely machinery has got a proper setting. So there's the brick making machine, we've got a nice floor. I've managed to fix up the lighting after being blown up a couple of times by creepers. Not to death, but close enough and it kept taking out bricks and logs and uh, oh, creepers can be annoying. But this is the inside and this is the purpose of the whole building this is my little concrete maker so I've got storage for different colors of concrete I've got storage for sand and gravel and I've got somewhere to make concrete and I've backed it with wood so I can't knock the back out with my pick very easily all right we'll have a look up there in a minute Right, we'll have a look up here right now. So we come up here. This is the way across to the smelter so that we can top up fuel for that very easily. This is where we can load in clay. I have not made the clay pit yet. I haven't had time. But this will be the clay pit. You go down into it and dig out the clay. Then you bring the clay up this way. And you tip it into the brick machine here along with coal dust or coal ash and the machine makes the bricks and if we come down here we've got a coal store for the furnace for the boiler for the beam engine so that's all that done and it's all lit eight or above woohoo and then we've got the machine stamping out the bricks here and the bricks get carried out to the yard to dry so here they are all lined up drying in the yard 
we've got a fence in so that I can't fall into the ravine. That was a real concern. And we've got a fence and a gate out to our area out here. And of course this comes across and down to the smelter so that we can easily load our bricks from the drying yard into the kiln to be fired. That's the brick factory done! Hooray! <laughs> Back to the museum. Now the museum is not quite finished. There's some things that I want to take some time with doing and I want to think about. So I want some sort of banner signage out here but I'm not sure what yet. So I've got to think about that and have a play. So you come in here, this is the entrance. Now one of the things that isn't finished is I have to work out lighting for this whole place. At the moment we've just got random torch spawn all over the floor. Not good enough. I want time to sort this out. But we have a little entrance desk. Um, I'm thinking of putting some books or something here or pamphlets so that people can get some information on the museum. Maybe there'll be a painting here? I'm not sure. But if we come through to here, we've got the first parts of the museum. So we've got my prizes from the fishing tournament, so the pro rod, my diamond block, and the participation banner. I love doing that. It was actually quite restful. And then we've got books that I've been given. So we've got Odd Job JC's advertisement. We've got the zoo season pass that I paid for, but Steena knows I paid for it, so I should be able to come and go and leave the pass here on display, hopefully. We've got Ginger Ninja's birthday card. The cake is over in the cafe. You don't really put cake in a museum. Then we've got the Alpha Derby. That was fun. I don't mind that I came last. It was fun. We've got the commemoration of the Alpha Craft Drive-In. That, of course, is the ad for Mobs in Black. But I think I've put it here just to say that was a great community project. We all enjoyed that. Now, if we come into here, we've got two very special things. We've got the gift for the Wither Skeleton Farm. And I wish I could remember who left that there. I wish I knew who left that there. That's really special. Thank you, whoever it was. And we've got the Halloween Shulker Box, which I think is from Aletha or might be from Aletha and Steena. But there it is. These two have got their own special room, Pride of Place. Then we've got... Oh, that's Cookie's wool block. Notification that my mail was working, <laughs> that the post box was working. Thank you, Phil, for the postal system. Love it. And thinking of you, love, SD. And then we've got eggs from the egg hunt this year. That was fun. That was all round spawn. And that was my extravagant egg for finding all my eggs in the egg hunt. We've got the golden carrot. Piggy made all of us a golden carrot when he joined Alphacraft. There's mine. And we have Steena's advertisement for Kaboom. So that's it so far. There is room for some more things to be displayed. And I want to put a decorative roof up here, but um, I want time to think about that. So that's the museum. Neoclassical again, but then, you know, our community buildings, our civic buildings in this town are neoclassical. So, voila, one museum. The side's a little bland, but I've got trees to grow up, so then it won't look so bad. It's a cut-down version of the New South Wales Art Gallery, which I love and which I've been a member of for many, many, many years. But um, there we are. And granite and sandstone. Beautiful combination. Don't let anyone ever tell you any different. Right, I'm going to start work on a church. While I'm getting all my materials together, there are end cards on the screen. You can watch some other things of mine while I do the boring job of resource gathering. And I'll see you next time. Bye!